All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the left side of the screen and we're gonna scroll down to where it says settings, all right? So we're gonna click on settings and then this screen right here is gonna pop up. Now the next step in the process is you wanna click on channel. All right, so now you see it says country of residence. I have that set up. If you don't, go ahead and do that real quick. But now under that, you can see it says keywords okay now these keywords are for your channel right you're gonna do these a little bit different than you would do for video right and I'm about to explain now what is the purpose of channel keywords so channel keywords this is the chance that you get to tell YouTube what type of content you're gonna be creating on your channel which is pretty cool right now if you, whether you're starting from the jump and you don't have any videos or you already in the process you could do this at any time now since you get to tell YouTube what type of content you're actually gonna be creating it's more of like a matching mechanism all right so this is how it works so you put your keywords you, you give the right keywords the ones that are gonna be right for what you do then once you start releasing your videos or you've already released them YouTube is smart enough to know hey the content that they told us that they were gonna be putting out using the keywords that same type of content it's matching so when it when it starts to match what happens as you continue to create uh, consistent content on those specific topics what is going to happen is youtube is going to kind of give you more authority and then you'll start to rank videos a whole lot easier right so an example i give you is on another one of my YouTube channels, um, I talked a lot about being ads, right? And since I put out so many videos that talked about being ads from different, you know, from different views, YouTube now gives me more authority. So anytime I talk about that, I instantly rank almost every single time, right? Now you don't have to stay specific on one thing, but they'll see that you're putting out s consistent content along a certain niche, right? That's why you hear a lot of people talk about niche and some people, they kind of, you know, they, they don't, they're like anti-niche, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's very, very important and it allows you to grow a lot faster, okay? So now I'm about to show you exactly how to add the keywords and what type of keywords to actually go about using. You can see I have YouTube channel growth, online video, YouTube SEO, YouTube video ranking, YouTube ranking tips, and then right here, this is very, very important, okay? You can see I have my channel name, Video Marketing Masterminds, and then you see I put it close because you never know at the end of the day how somebody's actually gonna type your channel in, and you want your channel to show up when people type it in, right? And let me know down below in the comments, have you ever searched for a channel or your own channel and you realized it didn't pop up, which, which probably made you pretty upset, right? You know what I mean? And so this is why it's important to actually put your channel name in there so that way when people are typing and searching for it, boom, it pops up right from the jump. And let me know, uh, if you type my channel name, channel name in, do you actually see it, right? I would, love, I would definitely love to know down below in the comments. Okay, and then I also have make money on YouTube. YouTube optimization, I talk a lot about that, right? I also talk about making the money, um, how to start a YouTube channel, different things that I'm gonna be talking about. And, the, and the, the good thing about this is that you could change this at any time. You can go and put more topics that you're gonna be talking about. Like for example, I could put video editing. Uh, I think I already have YouTube analytics in there, yep. YouTube analytics. Uh, and then you can see I also have tools that I use as well. Now this is something extra that I do, right? I put the tools that I use, so when I start talking about those tools, once again, the whole authority thing that I broke down earlier where the more you start talking about a specific topic, now YouTube kind of gives you more of the authority because you've talked about it so much times, okay? Okay, so think more on the broad level when it comes to the channel keywords. Now, when it comes to the videos, go, go more specific in that niche, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Now you're probably like, okay, well, how did you actually come up with those keywords? I will open up the incognito browser and I started looking for keywords that I know that I talk about. So let's use the one that I had earlier, online video. Let me type that in the search box real quick. Online video. Okay, so as we can see, Let's see what the what the tool says. As we can see, 74,000 searches per month, right? And that's what my channel is about. Now, the key, the tip here is to make sure that all the keywords that you use 
in your uh, channel keywords are keywords that actually get searched. You don't wanna just put anything in there because remember, YouTube is using this data to categorize your channel and put you, pretty much cluster you with channels that are similar. So that way, you can start to benefit off those channels because then you're gonna start showing up next to those channels on, you know, as far as like suggested videos, right? This is why this is very, very crucial, okay? Now, this is how I did it. Now, a little, a little faster way to do it, right? I'm gonna show you real quick, is I'm gonna just open up YouTube just on like you know while i'm logged in right now let's say for instance i'm in the uh let's see here let's say i go to online video and then i go to the first channel i see okay so learn online video let's go to this channel or videographer. all right boom so we're gonna stop this now check this out right because i use a tool called TubeBuddy, and the link is in the description for it if you want to go ahead and pick uh pick up TubeBuddy. but check this out channel keywords i can see their channel keywords because i have this extension so look here learn online video filmmaking tutorials tips online film school online video production learn video editing so you can see even this channel also has their keyword their channel keyword set up and it's specific right very very specific and and then when you think about it when it comes to youtube when you make your stuff extremely relevant now YouTube knows exactly who to put your content in front of, okay? So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, drop me a comment down below with any additional questions that you have. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.